Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to manipulate text in Photopea. So how can we take text and do more than just change the font or the color or the size um, or the alignment? Um, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is super simple. Um, one of the most basic things you can do is use your warp tool and you can select any of these different um, warp selections and you can play with that a little bit and adjust them. Um, so that's the most simple and basic way to you know, just alter and manipulate your text a little bit to for fit to fit a certain shape or just to kind of be a little bit more interesting. Um, going into some of our other ways. So another thing that we could do is instead of having our text fit into a box, um, we could use a shape that Photopea already has, like a circle. So if I use my text tool and click into the circle, and I have to have a small enough size for it to actually fit the circle. So we'll change the size a little bit. If I type into the circle, as long as I hit enter whenever I've hit the edge, um, I can get that to follow the edge of my circle. So it will indent along, along this line here. Um, but I don't have to only use shapes that already exist in Photopea. I could actually also create my own. And this becomes interesting because like, let's say that I pulled a photograph in here and I traced it and I got like a really cool um, silhouette, like outline of like a person's profile or city skylines or something like that. Um, so if I create that using my pen tool, I'm just going to make a huge fan of that. We'll go back. Make our own shape here. Knowing that we could obviously create something more complex, but we'll just make this little shape. Um, so I can do the same thing. I can pull in my text, uh, make sure that I click inside of the shape, and then I do want to hit enter every time I reach the edge, um, but I can get it to fit inside that shape as well. So that becomes interesting because then I can make it look like realistic um, objects. Okay, so that's one thing I can do. Um, another thing that I can do that's a little bit more advanced is actually stretch um, the text to fit a certain shape. So let's get rid of some of this. So like, let's say that I actually want to stretch out my text to a certain shape. And let's say that I want it to be a, um, just a circle. So Um, so what I can do is I can make my word and I'm going to make that a color so you can see it a little bit better. And what I can do is I can make it part of the image. So you make sure you have it the color you want because once you do this, that'll go away. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger um, and I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to rasterize it, we'll make, which will make it part of the image instead of text. And then from there, I can use Puppet Warp. And the Puppet Warp will let me click and stretch the shape however I want. So I can actually stretch it to fit this circle if I want to. So totally distorting the text and moving it however I want it to. So this takes a little bit more time and practice, um, but I could actually make this hello fit right to um, this circle. So this is how you could really um, create a nice calligram by like stretching, manipulating, and warping your text, especially if you have some patience, you could make some really cool stuff with this. Um, and then when you're done with your puppet warp, so I'm obviously not quite done with it yet, um, but then when I'm done with it, I can click off of that and click on something else, and now I have my warped shape.